Hey y'all and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and begin the setup process, but before we do that, we got to go ahead and find reason and go ahead and start it. And we're going to do some registering and stuff real quick, okay? So on the Mac, it's pretty easy. All you're going to have to do is go to your applications location and then go ahead and choose on reason, double click. Now in Windows, all of your reason related items are going to be added to your start menu. And there's a good chance that you're even going to see a reason shortcut on your desktop. But that's really the only difference here. And what we want to go ahead and do is click on the reason icon right there. And then we're going to see this license agreement right here. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and scroll all the way through it and read it if you want. Go ahead and press agree whenever you're done. And then next, you're going to see a little window that asks you to enter your license number. Now, if you ordered a boxed version of Reason 5, within the box, you're going to find this card type of deal. That's mine right there. And it's going to say Reason, License, and Registration. And you open it up, and you're going to see a license number and a registration code and all kinds of good stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and enter your username, and then we're going to enter your organization as well. And last, this is where you're going to enter the license number found on your card. Just like that, okay? Once you've done all that, you're going to hit OK. And next, you're going to see a Please Insert Disk window that asks you to go ahead and put in your Reason 5 DVD, assuming that you're like me and you haven't done it yet, okay? Now that you put your disc in, your sound banks are gonna begin copying and you're gonna see all kinds of little splash screens right here that are pretty cool. Right here we got the benefits of ownership, number one, here's number two, secured ownership, that's right, okay? Number three, you're gonna enjoy the benefits of a user community, okay? And I can tell you that Propeller Heads has got a good form going on. Benefit of ownership number four is the downloads. Make sure to visit the download section. Now it is good to know that Record and Reason will come with Propellerhead's remote technology. And all this means is that your software is going to work with most of the hardware controllers found on the market right out of the box. Now here are some other Propellerhead products we spoke about Recycle earlier. Ah, Reason Drum Kits 2. You want to hear some lively, realistic drums in your music without using loops or hiring a session drummer? Well, Reason Drum Kits 2 gives you masterfully hypersampled, perfectly playable, totally recallable, multi-output drum kits that are going to add a live sparkle to your music. Okay? Check out the Reason Electric Bass. Reason Electric Bass Refill is going to put eight fully playable electric bass guitars into your record and Reason tracks. Now you got the Reason Soul School, all right, which is going to have some really colorful sounds from the 60s and 70s, and it's going to be difficult to find some grooves that are considered rarer than these are. Here you see a window that says Reason Setup Wizard, okay? Welcome to Reason. We recommend that you click Next to specify basic audio and master keyboard settings. However, if you prefer, you can click Cancel and make these changes later on in the Preferences dialog. But I think I want to go ahead and click Next. And right here is our audio setup window. It says, please select an audio device and sample rate. Now, as you can see, on my audio output, I have an ensemble, but if I chose, I could have no sound. I could use the built-in output, the built-in line output of my Mac, okay, or all kinds of combinations thereafter. It also asks me to go ahead and set up the sample rate. Now, in my case, I'm content with 44.1, but you may choose to go higher than that, okay? Now, again, you can go into the preference dialog settings if you decide that later on you want to change these settings. But I'm going to go ahead and click next to move along. And now we're going to see a master keyboard setup. It says if you have a keyboard controller that you want to use with reason, make sure that you connect it and then click auto detect. Now, if you don't want to use a keyboard controller or you prefer to set it up later, just click skip, which is right here. I have got my keyboard hooked up to my Mac already, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Auto Detect. And now we see that the master keyboard setup is auto detecting any keyboard controllers. Now check this out. It's interesting because it says that the master keyboard setup couldn't auto detect any keyboard controller. All right, it could be because my keyboard model doesn't support automatic detection, in which case I can add it manually, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now, okay? Now the manufacturer of my keyboard controller is right here at the bottom. And my particular model is considered an auto map keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and then I'm going to hit next. 
Friesen's going to need to know what MIDI ports my device is connected to, okay? Let's go ahead and hit find and see what happens here. Move a control or press key on the control surface. So let me do that real quick and we'll see what happens. There you go. SL Mark II Port 1. So I'm going to go choose. But if that wasn't right, I could have hit try again. Or I could choose from the different input ports available to me with the drop down menu right here. Once you find the input port that works for you, go ahead and click on next. And next we're going to see a window that says that we're done with the audio and master keyboard setup. Well, whoopity doo, sounds like a winner to me. It says that we recommend that you now register your program. This is going to give you access to the additional software and sounds as well as technical support and other services on the Propellerhead web pages, okay? If you don't do it now, you can later select register now from inside the application. Now, if you've already registered it, this button is going to be for you that says, I have already registered this. Next, you can choose to register later. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can do it from within the application. But in my case, I haven't registered it. So let's go ahead and click on register now. And assuming that your computer is hooked up to the WeberNet, you're going to be taken to the Propellerhead product registration page. So let's come on down here and select the product that we want to register. In our case, we want to choose Reason right here. So I'm going to hit on it. And next, it's going to ask us for the version. Please select it. So I'm doing Reason 5, okay? And let's hit on Continue. And the next page, we're going to see a Register Reason 5 page. It says, Registering will allow you to use Reason devices in Record, which is extremely cool, especially if you got Record. It says to proceed, please enter the numbers on your authorization card in the fields below. Now, the authorization card is that doohickey that I mentioned earlier, you remember? If you have a box version, that's where you're going to find it right there. So we'll enter the license number, our registration code, and then we're going to go ahead and choose our main platform, whether it be Mac OS or Windows, any version of either. Now, once you've completed all of that and you press the little register button, you'll see that you are done. Congratulations. Your copy of Reason 5 has now been registered to your user account. Now you're going to have access to the downloadable stuff and any updates that Reason 5 has because you were able to register at this time. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and back out of my WeberNet and then BOOM! We see Reason right there. Check it out. Now I want you to stick around because we're going to go ahead and jump into some more of the details before we get to playing. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye-bye.